Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching so today I have for you this really dramatic and neutral makeup look this is called angel wings here in Brazil and I hope that you love this technique much as I do so that's it if you want to see how I got this makeup look stay tuned and let's get started to start off this look I'm gonna apply the eyeshadow primer I'm using the 24 hour photo finish by Smashbox I'm gonna apply this primer all over my lid using my clean finger and I'm gonna spread this product everywhere the eyeshadows go next I'm gonna apply a nude eyeshadow using a fluffy brush just to set the eyeshadow primer and this will help to blend the next eyeshadows as well so I'm gonna apply in my crease in my tear duct area and also in the lower lash line Then using a large shaded brush, I'm gonna apply the shadow Vanilla by MAC in the tear duct area and below of my brows to highlight a little bit. And next, using this fluffy brush, I'm gonna apply in my crease the transition shade and this is the color Love Me by Motivus Cosmetics. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this eyeshadow in the lower lash line as well. And this shade is kind of light warm brown eyeshadow. And now using a smaller crease brush, I'm gonna apply this darker brown eyeshadow in the outer corner and also in the crease. This is just to create the cut crease and add a little more depth in the eyes. So I'm gonna add in this product a little at a time, creating a nice gradient of colors. And next I'm gonna just clean up the eyelid, for this I'm using the Studio Finish Concealer by MAC and to apply this product I'm using a concealer brush as well, so I'm gonna cut my crease and apply on top the eyeshadow vanilla again using the same brush as before and the shade Love Me as well, creating a beautiful gradient inside of the cut crease. Next, I'm gonna line my eyes using the gel liner Wicked by Sigma and the brush A06. I'm gonna start drawing a cat eyeliner and then I'm gonna create the shape of the wing, building up the eyeliner slowly, creating the shape and filling all the spaces. Next, I'm gonna just line my eyelid with a really thin liner and I'm gonna create the cat eyeliner in the tear duct as well. I'm gonna also apply the gel liner in the waterline and in the lower lash line and before it dries I'm gonna smoke it out in the outer corner And next I'm gonna just apply the black eyeshadow, this is Blackout by Motivus Cosmetics. I'm using a really small brush to apply the eyeshadow and the rest left in the brush I'm gonna just blend the lower lash line. The reason why I'm using this eyeshadow is because I wanna create a really dramatic look in the eyeliner. And then I'm gonna change the brush for the same fluffy that I was using before. I'm gonna just blend the lower lash line. I'm gonna just blend the lower lash line and the outer corner. Yeah. 
And next, to give a little bit of color in my face, I'm gonna just apply this beautiful blush that I love. This is a matte blush. I'm using the shade Pinch Me by Motivus Cosmetics. And I'm applying this blush using the Spotlight Duster Brush by Sigma. Next, I'm gonna highlight my face using the High Cheekbone Brush and the highlighter Love Life by Too Faced. I love this highlighter so much. I have been using a lot lately. And this is the shade Blinded by the Light. Next, I'm gonna use this amazing lipstick by Benefit Cosmetics. I love the intention of this lipstick and the quality is amazing. I also love the colors. This is the shade Flame Game. So the darker side acts as a lip liner and, and the lighter side is the lipstick itself. And the intention of this product is to save time so you don't have to apply the lip liner and then the lipstick on top of it. With this lipstick, you can do both in one step. Personality, I like the intention of this lipstick, I love the colors and I love the quality of Benefit products but I don't think I can change it forever like skip the lip liner and use just this product. But this lipstick works really well like an ombre and I absolutely love the effect. But if I want to create a more precise line, I have to use the lip contour and the colors are so beautiful, I'm so in love with this product. But if you don't need a really precise line, this product will be amazing. So that's it my lovies, thank you so much for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial, I love to create this look for you. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you still didn't and follow me on Instagram to see more pictures of my work. Also hit the notification bell here below to make sure that you're gonna receive all the new tutorials. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye!